President Biden announced plans to travel to Israel and Jordan on Wednesday over concerns the raging Israel-Hamas war could expand into a larger regional conflict. Meantime, demonstrations continue across the country with fierce opinions on every side of the issue. And that passion could be felt at a protest this evening in downtown Springfield. Dozens came out to Park Central Square calling for an end to the war in Israel. Francis Watson joins us live downtown. Francis, we've seen heated exchanges across the nation some turning violent. What did you see there tonight? Well, Maria, it was all very peaceful here tonight. You know, for the group that was demonstrating on the square, they say their message isn't about picking sides. They say their message is about human rights and wanted to voice their concerns by way of a peaceful demonstration. Occupation's gotta go. There is no such thing as just targeting military targets. Brick by brick, wall by wall, Israeli apartheid's gonna fall. People think that if you're against the state of Israel that you're anti-Semitic in some way, and you're not. Dozens of people with the Party for Socialism and Liberation Springfield gathered on the downtown square Monday afternoon to protest the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. Among them, Josh and Lucy Mayfield. For me, it is the fact that this is really a modern apartheid. The fact that and we have an obligation to stop this as early as possible. This is the second demonstration in Springfield since the conflict began. Israel is uh, actively um, taking genocidal actions towards uh, Gaza. This is a matter of do you oppose apartheid? Do you oppose uh, war crimes and collective punishment? Um, do you think that every human being has a right to uh, uh, dignity? And do you believe that oppressed people have a right to, uh, to fight back and to resist oppression? For the Mayfields, the conflict is a humanitarian issue. As Americans, we should be very conscientious of this. As we did so many crimes to our indigenous people, why should we support a state that is committing our own crimes and our own sins a second time? We feel it is very urgent to stand up alongside the millions of people around the world who are standing up right now on behalf of uh, Palestine, on behalf of Gaza. Now, the group says they plan to gather here once again coming up this Saturday afternoon to peacefully demonstrate. Reporting live in downtown Springfield, I'm Francis Watson.